It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Cardinals and the Bears. All that and more coming up next. One of the great venues to watch a game in any sport and one of the best home crowds in any sport, Soldier Field in Chicago. Today we've got a solid matchup in score in the NFC as it'll be the Arizona Cardinals taking on the Chicago Bears. Brandon Gaud and Charles Davis on hand. Kickoff just moments away. Charles, quickly, keys to the game. For me, it's coaching. Who prepared his team the best going into this one to give them the confidence to believe that they would win the game? That's who's going to come out of this one on top. Here's the putter, Trenton Gill now to do the honors, and off we go here at Soldier Field. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. The Cardinals now getting set to go offensively, and it'll be the dual threat quarterback, Kyler Murray, leading the way. And when you have a guy like Kyler Murray under center, it not only opens up your playbook, it allows you to draw up even more plays because he's among the best dual threat quarterbacks in the league and a true playmaker. If flushed out of the pocket, he might even be more dangerous. The next step for him, being able to throw on rhythm and deliver from the pocket. So first and 10 now from the 30. Right to the air, here's Murray. Over the middle, complete. That's Brown. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it'll be second down. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. On second down, here's Murray. And that nearly an interception here on his opening drive, but he gets a reprieve. It's third down. And I think he was a little surprised to see the ball sitting out there like that. That's a ball he had a chance to come away with, but it winds up an incomplete pass. Third play in this opening drive as they're looking at a third and three. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free, and it brings up fourth down. I thought he had that one, and that was nearly a big third down conversion to give this drive some life. Instead, they're on the spot and help separate the receiver from the ball. Blake Gillikin on to punt now on fourth down. Back deep, Trent Taylor. Fair catch called for and made at the 16 or maybe the 17-yard line. So here are the Bears now for their opening drive. And they'll be led out by a man who nearly broke the single-season rushing record for quarterbacks last season. A true dual threat out of Ohio State, Justin Fields. Coming out of Ohio State, one of the top prospects in the NFL draft, and it was so big that they moved up in the draft to get him, to make sure that they had him. And, boys, he got the full package. Loves the game. Big-time arm. 4-4 speed. So good that another quarterback prospect said to him, What's it feel like to run 4-4? Everybody wants to be that fast. Fields on first down. And he'll get this complete to the Notre Dame man, Equinemius St. Brown. 15 yards is the pickup there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down.
They'll run. This is Khalil Herbert. And this will be a Bears first down as the tackle made it about the 43-yard line. Well, no slow start here. A couple nice chunk plays back to back. I love the momentum that they're showing here early because they did it both ways, right? Threw the ball first down for a nice chunk of yardage. Came right back and ran the ball. Looks like they've got the defense set back on their heels. Let's see if they can keep this moving. On first down, right back to Herbert. And this one not going anywhere. They get him at the 44 for a gain of just a yard. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Meanwhile, Fields throw here into the hands of Moore. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 45-yard line. A nice pick up there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. A give left side here for Herbert, and he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Now a second and 10. Draw play, a give to Herbert. The second down play, not much better than the first, just a gain of one there. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. And they'll need to get to the 35 if they want to keep this drive going on third down. Here's Fields. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Big sack with a loss of five. Well, how about that? A dime set on defense. Six defensive backs. None of them blitz. They're just back there in coverage. Defensive lineman gets the sack. That's where the O-line, they go to the sideline, they keep their, their helmets on so the cameras can't find them, right? Yeah, the cameras can't find them, but I know one thing. The O-line coach will. And no return here. Where will they spot him? They say just outside the 20-yard line. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good. Three and out. What do they go to here? Well, you don't look down at your play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. Now let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands, and maybe the offense will move a little bit. Sometimes better. it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. Or the, the right play, yeah. That too. <laughs> Out and it's complete to Brown. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. A quick first down pickup. Good start after going three and out on their opening drive. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. One play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. They'll fake it to Connor. Now Murray. Oh, he's going up top for Wilson. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. At that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. Here's second and 10. First carry for James Conner. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. In today's NFL, you hear all the time about stretching the field and creating space in order to run plays. A toss play will help accomplish that because now you're pushing a defense to chase you all the way to the edges and to the sideline. That's a nice run probing now early to try and get things done later. Shotgun now for Murray. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll only get this to about the 44 as they stop him short of the line to gain. They'll give him four yards there, and it'll be fourth down. 
Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost start in the NFL game, but it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. You got to go up and make the tackle right away. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. We're scoreless after one. Back in Chicago, ready for the second quarter. It's the Bears in possession. As they'll start with a first and 10 at their own 20. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. They've been playing the field position game thus far. No score. Second quarter as they come up on first and 10. And he probably should have given that one off as he's going to get hit and taken down behind the line. Award that tackle for loss to the safety, Buda Baker. And not a lot of success to be found there. Oh, you got that right, partner, because if you're trying to make guys miss about 10 yards or so downfield, that's a pretty good play. But if you've got to do it in your own backfield, I consider that a problem. That doesn't work too well. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Here's Fields. And this is taken in by Darnell Mooney. And he's not going to sniff the first down here. He stopped at the 25. So the completion good for seven there. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. Here comes Dorch on the return. The 41-yard punt, nine on the return. And the Cards will take over, first and 10. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. And partner, I know so far, and we're still in the first half, but you love this game as a defensive guy, zero to zero. We'll see if the offense can get going on this drive. Well, you know how they talk about music to your ears? How about what it does for your eyes when you watch something like this, right, where these teams are locked in and going at it, no points going up on the scoreboard. I'm loving it. You're exactly right. Well, switch over, though, to an offensive mindset for a moment. What do they need to do here to get on track and get some points? Well, I think a couple of ways. Number one, you can out something that maybe they haven't seen before. Coaches always talk about unscouted looks. Maybe you give them something that they haven't seen on tape, and now you shock them that way. The second... Run your basic playbook, but run it so well that you give your skill position guys a chance to make big plays individually. From the gun, Murray. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. They were backed up behind the sticks, but he still found a way to make that first down happen. That's the kind of fight every coach hopes his franchise quarterback has in him. Look a tough situation like that in the eye and come up with a solution on the spot. First down, Murray. And he couldn't get that one to his man. Short of him, it's low and incomplete. But there's an incompletion partner, and the struggles through the air continue because so far their lack of passing production has led to a lack of points. Second and 10. Murray again, this is Connor. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Out of the gun, here's Murray. Buying time to his left. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Montez Sweat, the man that time to fight in and drop him. 
Well, we've seen how this quarterback can beat you with his legs. Saw it earlier on this drive, as a matter of fact. But that time, they had him covered. They really gave him no place to escape because oftentimes they're able to find a crack, a sliver, anything that can get them upfield. On that occasion, nothing open at all, and they swarmed him. The Chicago offense set to get started. We've seen both of these offenses still sort of in that figuring things out phase, but I suspect some action on the scoreboard soon as they start out here first and ten. Starting on the ground with Herbert. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets his football out shy of a 30 to the 29. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. Those are the types of runs they told us they want to see more of. Look, they'd love the 60 to 70 yard runs, but those 10 to 20 yarders, they can help you win a ball game. And that means everyone's invested because you know the big guys up front. That's what they do. They try and move people. But when you get your perimeter guys involved downfield, that means that they care about the running game and they know it helps their team. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Fields now to throw. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. The yeah, offenses always try to be smart about when they're trying to dial up a screen to the running back because they understand you can only go to the well so many times in a game without the defense starting to anticipate the call. They tried the throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. They'll run with Herbert. And good vision there as he's across midfield and down to the 45 yard line. So that time they got the left guard with a hole. And let's face it, in today's ball, you might have that 330 pound guy you're supposed to clear out of there. You might need a little bit of extra help by grabbing the jersey and trying to ride him out. On third down, Herbert. And he's going to get this to the 31, but that is still well short of what he needed. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Fourth down, so they send out Trenton Gill. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And it will be first to 10 as they take over. And the Cardinals getting set to trot out there now. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? On first and ten, here's Murray. Finding his target, it's Trey McBride. And that's good for a gain of six, and it'll be second down. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on, catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Second down and four. Throwing now is Murray. That's complete to Michael Wilson. Personal foul. So it was already a gain on the completion, but tack on some more with that penalty. Absolutely, no matter what angle you're making the tackle from, you can't grab the face mask, and that's just putting your defense on its heels just a little bit more. So now factoring in the face mask, here's first and ten. Here's Murray. Oh, into a sea of defenders, had intercepted. Picked up by Tremaine Edmonds, the linebacker. And the Bears are going to have the football here at 
their own 35-yard line. If you're a lover of offense, this has not been the half for you thus far. Luckily for me, though, I'm sitting next to a lover of defense, and we have had plenty of that, including that interception. Yeah, and I mean, that still makes it a great game, doesn't it? Everybody talks about it. The ball's not in the end zone and points going up on the board. It's not as much fun. I love these defensive battles. Something's got to give with these turnovers. Who can convert them into points? Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their 35-yard line. Fields throw complete here on target to Tanya. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. A gain of eight there on the play. And it'll be second in a couple. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because... He really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target. And that's how he'll shred a defense. That was well played, but that was also an example of a corner who understands his coverage, realized he had support behind him, and could be a little more aggressive in the shorter zone and did exactly that, knocking that pass away. Now Fields, that is caught. Now the Bears gonna call the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Now a first down throw, Fields. And this throw will be intercepted. And the Cards are going to get the football here at their own 40-yard line. Boy, that one was in the air for an agonizingly long time. Uh, just begging to be picked off, wasn't it? It's one thing if you're throwing a ball like that, trying to throw someone open or lead them into an area. But that ball needed to be thrown with a lot more conviction. As a result, it's an easy interception. Well, the Cardinal offense is going to take over late in this first half. And with great starting field position and a couple of timeouts at their disposal, they'll certainly have the green light here. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at the 40. After the turnover, here's Murray. And that would going to be off target and incomplete. Well, this defense is going to have to finish the job. There's still a second half that they have to play. But so far, an absolute total effort. They've disrupted the passing game, stressed the pocket for the quarterback. They forced him into errant throws. Everything they're doing has been executed well. Murray looks to throw again, second and ten. Got his man complete over the middle. That's more. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. A final shot before half for Murray. His throw incomplete. So plenty of action on the field, but no action right now on the scoreboard, at least as of yet. Nothing, nothing is our score. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Not too much to show you in terms of scoring plays. In fact, there's nothing to show you. A scoreless tie here at the half. Both of these defenses have been outstanding thus far. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point.
After a rare scoreless first half, these teams now just looking for something as the second half gets underway. This fielded right at the goal line. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. So here's the Bears offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. And we thought this game had the potential to be tight. Maybe not this tight, scoreless, as we start the third quarter. And I love the way you use the word tight. I'm going to take it a little bit different direction here because it's not just tight on the scoreboard. I think both offenses have been tight in how they've played this game. No one's been loose. No one's been free. They've got to find a way to make some plays, and I don't think you do it if you're really tight in everything that you're doing in the game. A good start to the drive. Here's that's caught out on the left side. A huge play there for Chicago. 51 yards. And the offense is saying to itself right now, only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That's a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. So that changes things in a big way. Now from all the way down inside the 30, here's first and 10. Play action. It's Fields. And he hits his target, the tight end Lewis. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. Nice play call, a little bit of play action right there. If you can get those linebackers to freeze for just a split second, that's usually all the room you need in order to get it to your tight end. Man, I just love being in this stadium. So much history, tradition, so many great teams and games, and we're seeing a pretty good one right now. Hotly contested in the third quarter. Meanwhile, Fields throw complete there to Moore. 75 yards receiving for him now. And it's a first down. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They look like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there are very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. Again, Fields. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Evident there that he learned his lesson from the last drive. No way he was going to force a throw that time. When nothing broke open, he kept it and ended up running for a first down himself. Might we see our first touchdown of the game? Here's first and goal. Foreman. Going to be hit and met at the line of scrimmage. They get him down at the three. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. Defensively, though, they had a chance there to hit him for a loss. Couldn't get it done. Looked like someone was able to knife into the backfield, but he wasn't able to get him down. But his compatriots, they were able to grab him at the line of scrimmage and not let him get any further downfield. And they're going to get to him, a sack. Sack back at the nine-yard line. Kaiser White, the former safety, gets the sack. When you're this close to the goal line, you've got to expect pressure from the defense, so the ball's got to come out fast. Got to get out of his hands quicker. Six plays got him down here. This is play number seven, third and goal. Now it's Fields. He's going to have the first down and more than that. Touchdown! The Bears have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. Well, these two teams battled through a scoreless first half. Finally, a breakthrough here in quarter number three. And I just wonder how that played for both of them psychologically because when you battle through a scoreless first half, now you know that every possession is increasingly crucial. Who can put points on the board, make the other team chase? And if you get a lift and if they get deflated a little bit. Santos with the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. Touchdown. Here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. 
This taken in at the goal line. And he brings this out past the 20 to the 24. The Cardinals offense now ready to get their first opportunity here in the second half. And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here and start matching them point for point. But it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense. Plenty of time to get back in this game. Throwing on first down is Murray. And that one's going to come up a little short. It's incomplete. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball. And we see yet another errant throw as a result. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Murray now to throw. A uh, short one here, caught by McBride. Five yards, now it's third and five. He's been quiet today in the passing game, just his second catch. Yeah, and people have to come up with schemes to limit him, and, and what a lot of teams do, they'll double him, you know, use a linebacker underneath, a safety over the top. Sometimes they'll just take a corner, maybe their third corner if he's a bigger guy, and put him on a man-to-man to try and limit his touches. Just keep mixing it up, give him different angles, different looks, like a good boxer does. And some room to work. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, they certainly had their share of troubles running the football in this one, but this play is almost an extension of the running game right here. They set up the screen, let him work out in space on the perimeter, and he turns it into a big pickup. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and ten here. Again, they'll throw with Murray. A uh, short one here, caught by McBride. And he'll take this from 147-yard line to the other. A gain of six. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. This second and four. To throw is Murray. This is caught. It's Brown. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 28. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. On first and 10 is Connor. And he'll get this one down to about the 27. Tremaine Edmonds there to bring him down. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secure before they slide off and try to chip someone at the second level. And he's able to motor his way down to the 16-yard line. Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Soldier Field. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. From the red zone, here's the Heisman Trophy winner, Murray. A quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. They run behind center with Connor. They showed off the athletic juke. Good little gain there. Not a whole lot of real estate, but a nice carry. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Murray to throw on third and one. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective 
Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Now Murray, he bootlegs it. Got his tight end, that's complete. It's Higgins. Nice job defensively to hold him to four, and now it's second and goal. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Second and goal from the one. A carry here for the big tight end. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Jeff Swaim taking it in from a yard out. And the Cardinals are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. And we are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And an important one that is, as we are all tied now early in this fourth quarter. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And the drive will begin at the 25 as Scott is going to stay in the end zone. The Bears offense now getting ready to take over. They no longer have the lead after that last touchdown. All tied up in the fourth quarter. And a chance for this offense to mount a potential game-winning drive right here. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Now Herbert to start the drive. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 54 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. When he runs, he seems to do a nice job of knowing when to be patient and find the hole, and then when the hole is there, he goes quickly. You're exactly right. He knows how to just take off, but you know what else? Brings a little thump with him, doesn't he? He does. He packs the boom at the end of the run and finishes it going forward. That's what you want to see out of your backs. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 11 yards there, just like last play. It looked like almost some miscommunication defensively because once he decided to keep it, he had pretty smooth sailing. Yeah, it became a question of, wait a minute, who's got the quarterback? And when you talk about miscommunication, it's supposed to be called assignment football on the defensive side of the ball, but the assignment gets mixed up. That's the end result. And a good run here as he'll run it all the way down to the fair yard line. Another nice game, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Would you say this offense is locked in right now? They're having no trouble on this drive. What is it, three plays, three first downs? Yeah, you talk about on the march. They keep this up, they'll get to that end zone real fast. On first and 10, it's Herbert. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. They suspected it. it was a power play up the middle coming at them, and boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. Second down, eight yards to go. Herbert now on the option. And this defense not ready for that one as he'll take this down inside the 25. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. And he has met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Partner, you've got about 20 coaches on your payroll, but there's 60,000 of them in the stands. I don't think any of them like that play. And the later we go, it's starting to sound like 100,000 in here. They'll come up now on second down. Let's 
Read option. Here's Herbert. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as it comes with a minute 15 left to go in the second half. Now first and goal. They'll run here with Herbert. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. Now the Cards going to call another timeout, their second, as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Second and goal from the one. Herbert will score. Touchdown, Chicago. And this is the time of game where offensive lines can really dictate a team's fortunes. And now remember, all touchdowns are reviewed. And in a tight game like this, they're going to take a good, long look at it. Is this a touchdown? That's the question. CD, what are they looking for here? You just need any part of the football to break the plane. You don't need the whole football. It doesn't need to go over the entire white line. It's just that front part of the white line. And if you draw an imaginary plane going straight up, that's what they need to cross. Third down and goal coming up here. Herbert. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Bears. Khalil Herbert. It's a one-yard touchdown run. And the Bears answer back with a touchdown of their own to break our tie and take the lead here in the fourth. So the second down run didn't work. They run it again on third down and get in. I wasn't sure if they might pass it, Charles. We know that they like to mix it up down here around the goal line. Yeah, it almost felt like the offensive line said, forget mixing it up. Let's call our favorite running play over our best blockers, and let's get this one in. Santos able to tank on the extra point, and that makes the score 14-7. After the touchdown, here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Kyler Murray now in the Cardinal offense, down 14 to 7, a little over a minute to go. They need a touchdown to the PAT to tie it as they come up first and 10. to throw Murray oh and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans it is intercepted Kyra Gordon puts it up and they will take over at the 29 yard line Brandon offensively this has been a tough day for them trying to find a place to throw the football it's been extremely difficult I've got to give a lot of credit to the secondary especially the corners who've had the receivers on lockdown and now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And with the defense out of timeouts, powerless to stop the clock, this should just be a couple of kneel downs.
The win for the Bears just around the corner. They go down to a knee. Fields down to a knee here, and that should just about put a ball on this one. So this one in the win column for the Chicago Bears, and it was their defense that really paved the way to this victory as they allowed the one touchdown, and that was all she wrote. Almost want to do the defense chant right now, right? Defense with a couple of claps in there, but no one wants to hear that from me. Let's just talk about how they got it done, though. When you take care of every aspect of the game, shut down the run, control the airways, right? Make sure the quarterback is harassed. This type of performance you get. They can't fashion together any offense, no consistency, and they just took control. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. The Bears get the win at home as we say so long from Soldier Field.